Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Jen and today I have my Walmart grocery pickup haul for you. This is my weekly haul and today's order was $257 and some change. There were a couple substitutions. I will let you know what those are as we go. So let's just jump on in. This week back here hiding behind the bread, we have three gallons of the white milk. Those are all dated September 10th, so that will be fine. Um, I got extra bread this week. I'm going to put a couple in the freezer. There are four of the Bunny Soft Twist. I thought I bought a sandwich, a thin sandwich, but apparently I did not. Okay, those won't stay. Will you stay? Okay. Also, um, I have a package of the Bunny Burger Buns. Oh, I do have a meal plan this week. Let me get it. Alrighty, so I'm back to my meal plans. This is this week's. These may not particularly be on the correct days, but these are the meals we are going to be having. This week's spaghetti. Um, also, fa two family fave crock pot recipes. The um, crock pot white bean chicken chili and crock pot cheesy rice and chicken. We will also just have some quick meals, like I said, the spaghetti and tacos, a fend for yourself day, meatball subs here, and also another family fave um, is my homemade chicken enchiladas. This goes back on the fridge so the fam can know. Okay, so anyway, I thought of that when I saw these Lewis Sick Six, oh my goodness, steak buns. This is a substitution. I had a different kind that we actually like better. This one tastes more like a potato bun for some reason, but it's okay. So um, we'll have our meatball subs on these this week. These are just like my 18 year old son will just randomly make himself chicken patties or, you know, whatever. Why don't I put the bread backwards? Then we have um, eight hot dog buns. You know, the great value aren't the best, but then I bought the bunny and I buy the brand names and they're also not the best. So I'm like, why do I even pay more? I'm just going to go back to those. Um, I have a bundle of the organic bananas. These are absolutely huge this week. What else? Oh yeah, um, if you don't see many fruits and vegetables, don't fret. I get those at Costco or my local grocery store. So Walmart, this is just the items I get at Walmart. Um, this week for tacos, these are the tortillas that we like. These, I have the taco size great value ones in the house still, but we needed the burrito size as well. There are eight in here. Um, I have two gallons of the purified drinking water that is for my dogs. Long story, it's been in a different video. Um, my 18 year old son has one of these. I say this every week. These are the Dannon Light and Fit Strawberry Cheesecake Greek Yogurts. There are four cups in there. He has one every single morning. He's lifting. As soon as he wakes up, he wants to get some protein in. 12 grams of protein. Four, four, eight of those seven days a week. So, you know, one extra. Um, for the white bean chicken chili, it does call for half and half. So, I got one of these small half and halves. It also calls for cream cheese. So, I got this cream cheese. Um, so, I got two Roma tomatoes. These are for off taco night i haven't been buying my avocados at walmart because the last two times they actually were absolutely disgusting i try not to get my produce there the two things i will are bananas and avocados sometimes i'm finding that i'm not going to be getting avocados there i'm giving them one more try three avocados we will see if these are actually disgusting again i will be done with that at walmart um, the Sargento Provolone Cheese Slices. This is what we put on our meatball subs. It is so yummy and it melts so good. I have a package of the one pound four cup Colby Jack shredded cheese. This goes, we use this like randomly throughout the week, you know, for quesadillas and stuff. But um, this also goes in the cheesy rice and chicken crock pot meal. So yeah, um, I bought another one. I actually have half of one in the fridge still, but for the crock pot meal, we will use almost a whole one. Um, my daughter likes both of these just, you know, just four things throughout the week. Also the one pound four cup medium cheddar shredded cheese. She likes either just this or a mix of these on her cheese quesadillas she likes to make. I 
let's see, where am I going here? Okay, um, so the shredded iceberg lettuce for our soft tacos as well. And then here, this is, I don't usually get my deli meat at Walmart, but this is okay. This is good and tasty. Uh-oh. Stay. <laughs> anyway, this is the sliced um, hard salami. So, yes, we will have salami sandwiches or whatnot for lunches sometime. And also, I do like this um, deli macaroni salad in the original, not the Amish. I don't like the Amish. This is actually really good. We needed some Kraft Single cheese slices. I like to get this at Costco, but still haven't went. I swear, it's coming. But, um, yeah, this is like $8, and at Costco for a big box is not much more. So I hate buying it at Walmart, but we needed it like now. My son likes to make grilled cheese and all that jazz. You know what? We randomly, I think Royal Lunch might have, my oldest son said, can we have chili dogs? I'm like, okay. I know these are crap quality, but sometimes the big, thick, good quality ones I get at um, Schnucks, our gross grocery store. I don't know. They're just really thick, and we kind of just... So sorry about that. My SD card got full of my storage. I need to empty this camera out. But anyway, what I was saying is sometimes we just kind of like the cheapy hot dogs for our chili dogs. If you can eat, hear any kind of purring or whatever, don't mind. It's just my kitty cat Coco down here. Coco. This is our berm and isn't she beautiful? She's 12 years old. Coco. Coco. Her eyes are blue and she's beautiful. And she's down here purring. So if you hear that, that's what that is. All right. I gotta stop getting sidetracked here. Back here, we have two of the cereals, Tricks, and Fruity Pebbles. I don't buy them every week, but you know, cereal. Sometimes we just get it. Alrighty. This is my favorite taco seasoning. This is just the Taco Bell original. I've been making one pound of taco seasoning because I never know who's gonna be home. You know, when you have older kids and you just never know who's going to be home. But I'm always short every week. So next time I'm making two pounds. So I did buy two of those. My 19-year-old daughter is my sauce girl. She loves the Frank's Red Hot Original. So I got one of those. We also love this Taco Bell Chipotle. Is it focusing? Taco Bell Chipotle sauce. This is good. We eat this like, I'll show you over here. Like these taquitos. I think it's super good to dip them in that Taco Bell um, Chipotle sauce. It's really good. All right, some water flavorings back here. This is for me. It's the Gator Light Cherry Lime. I have to get to Costco. I'd rather have liquid, liquid IV, but I got this. My 19-year-old daughter and myself like this Great Value Lemonade Energy Water Flavoring. And my 18-year-old son likes the Propel Great Water Flavoring. So for those, two of those, one of those. Um, back here, I as well get my premier, premier protein shakes at Costco, but haven't been, like I said. So expensive way to do it. Premier protein only for these caramel flavoring at Walmart, almost freaking $10, but I need them. That's literally like what I break my fast with that. And those are 30 grams of protein. So let's see, what do we got here? Um, we'll just, no, we won't do frozen yet. Okay. For the white bean chicken chili, these are the beans I use four or five cans of the great Northern white beans. So there are five here. I never remember. Do I use four or five? So I bought five. These also go in the white bean chicken chili. It is Ortega. I got one mild and one hot I use. So it's not crazy spicy, even though I like the spice, but some people in my family don't. Um, this goes in, uh, what is this? The white bean chicken chili. Go, I needed a uh, cream chicken soup, so we did this one. For my chicken um, enchiladas, I use the old El Paso enchilada sauce. Like I said, I would do all hot. But my family, some people don't like it like crazy spicy. Some do. But so I got, I think, three or four of the hot and also a medium to calm it down a bit. Alrighty, back here. Um, we haven't, I usually get our granola bars at Costco. I know I sound like a broken record with that. I just need to go. I know. But anyway, we're totally out. So I just got the Quaker chewy chocolate chip granola bars. This is the big box of 36 bars. Um, some frozen stuff here. The blue bunny bunny tracks is not much to say about that except delicious. And then 
these are the knockoff great value hot pockets but our family likes them it's the pepperoni and cheese ones then these um friday's mozzarella sticks with the marinara sauce are another family fave um two frozen pizzas the tombstone pepperoni and the jack's thin pepperoni i just have those in the you know the freezer i just make sure we have those frozen here this is a substitute i usually get just the pepperoni they substituted i approved for the three meat my i don't know if my one daughter will eat this she likes the pepperoni but whatever i showed you the taquitos the great value brand i'm like i've been trying some great value things lately some are good some aren't good these we find are we find these are just as good that is it for the frozen back here oh this is me and my daughter love this it's the white cheddar smart food popcorn low in calories good afternoon snack when you don't want to really eat you know junk these we use as our crackers and our white bean chicken chili it is the thin and crispy tortilla chips they are very good we haven't had pringles in a while so i just got the barbecue and pizza fun fact my daughter who i talk about likes the spice likes the chips and all this stuff <laughs> um the very first thing i food i ate in the hospital after i had her she's 19 now were these pringles pizza chips i think that's funny i remember that and now she loves them that's funny okay um Okay, don't mind the mess over here, but I did also get three um, cases of their drinking water. I know we go through a lot of this. I know. I hate it. My daughter uses her Stanley. I use my Stanley, but sometimes we don't. I do recycle these. Absolutely, they get recycled. Anyway, my son already opened it and put it in the fridge some, but I bought three, and I didn't realize we had one in the car still from last week. Also back here, um, the 24-pack case of the Mountain Dew. I absolutely don't drink that. Molda's son and my husband, uh, well, my husband shouldn't. He's diabetic, so he's stopping that. But my oldest son drinks those. I, I wish he wouldn't, but he does. Okay, a couple snacks, and I do think that's it. Just some cosmic brownies, and I like these randomly. The Hostess Cinnamon Streusel Coffee Cakes are so good and the last item is the extra 35 sticks of peppermint gum so there you have it that is this week's grocery haul from walmart let me know if you want me to start doing my hauls from all the stores that i do i go to costco at least once a month it's time i always post those i always post my walmarts sometimes i go to a local grocery store called schnooks i don't post that because i feel like most people don't even know what that store is but yeah so this isn't all we use every week we are a big family i have five kids so yeah like i said this is 257 dollars in august of 2024 I thank you so much for being here and watching and then taking the time out of your day to spend with me. I appreciate that. I do want to let you know I did the video before this. If you're interested, I posted a Walmart shop with me walkthrough of the items that Walmart currently has for Fallout. So if you'd like to go check that out, that's the video right before this one. If you enjoyed, please click that thumbs up button. If you are new here or haven't yet, I'd super appreciate if you could subscribe to my channel. I am a smaller, newer channel trying to grow. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.